What's going on, YouTube? This is What Would Josh Do? And we are finally, finally rooting our Nexus player. I do not have root. I will show you that if I go to my side load launcher. We do not have Super SU. I uh, don't have root checker installed, but uh, I don't have root. I promise you. Let me uh, just open this up here and go down to tools. Oh, nope. Go to tools. Tools. And then root explorer. Sorry, this cannot run on your device. So I am not rooted at the moment, and we are going to fix that. First off, you need to go to your settings, and then you need to go to about, and then you need to go to your build number and keep pressing on that. It'll say like three, two, one, you are now a developer, and then you just go back, and you'll see developer options down here. So. We just need to find developer options and then debugging, USB debugging, turn that on. Okay, so we're good to go there. I'm also going to uh, make sure that verify apps over USB is unchecked because I don't want it to do that. And then we're going to need to plug in a USB cable to our USB port on our laptop here. And then we're going to plug it into the micro USB port uh, on the Nexus player down here. So just connecting it now. All right, it's connected. Computer just made some noises. It looks like it's installing some drivers. Okay. Go ahead and move this whole thing here so we can get that on the video. All right, you're going to know if your drivers are working by going to this PC uh, and then manage. And then you'll see under device manager. Android device if you see something with a check mark that means your drivers are not working correctly You will need to click on that check mark hit update driver software browse my computer pick let me pick from a list and then have disk browse and Then go to your desktop wherever you downloaded the USB driver folder I will have a link to this USB driver thing. It will be a zip It'll be like latest USB drivers and then you'll click on when USB open, okay, and then uh, next, and it'll install the thing. So there we go, we have the drivers. So we're going to open up our platform tools. If you do not have the platform tools, I will link to you, I will link my video in the description on how to get those. Basically, uh, in that video, I just go and show you how to create this little quick thing here. Also, now is the time to see if you have the latest SDK. So we're gonna make sure that we do look at that we have a update to our platform tool or to our SDK tool so deselect all check on this I'm gonna hit delete because as you saw in my folder here there is some stuff so we're gonna hit uh, yes and then we're gonna check these again and hit install and accept install and depending on how fast your internet is this could take a minute we have Google Fiber so it it's actually very very fast and the last few times I've tried this, I don't even see like this screen. It just happened so fast. So we'll let this finish up here. And now it's unzipping. Uh, this could take a minute. I have a little i3 dual core. Uh, not this laptop. This is an i7 quad core. But I have a dual core i3. And it takes a, a significantly longer to do stuff. So. Okay, now I have a little pop-up. And it's wanting me to allow this. So we need to allow always from this computer and hit OK. Now, also, your bootloader does need to be unlocked. I have a video on how to unlock that, and I will link to it in the description. So now our stuff's updated. If we go back to our platform tools, you'll see that it's clean. It's because we deleted everything that was in there, and then we reinstalled it. So nice and clean. Nothing's in there that we don't need. We're going to hold down the Shift button on our keyboard, right-click, and choose Open Command Window here. And from here, we're going to type ADB Devices and you're going to see the devices attached. We're going to type ADB reboot boot loader. Now alternatively, if your drivers aren't working for ADB, your fast boot drivers might be working. So, I have a video unlocking my bootloader that shows you how to get to bootloader manually without using a computer cuz I had issues with my drivers. But if you get this latest USB driver right here, this folder that has these files in it, you should be good to go. That I've rooted my Nexus 7, Nexus 6, Nexus 5, Nexus 9. I've rooted all my devices with that, so it's working great. So here we're on the bootloader, and this is what I was talking about, fast boot devices, and 
now we're in bootloader, so or in fast boot, which is the bootloader. So I've had ADB drivers not work, but I've had fast boot drivers work. So it's, it's a you know your your mileage may vary. This is actually a very simple tool. We're gonna go to this website that I have linked in the description. It's gonna be Chainfire's thing. So uh, root Nexus player, and Nexus player just arrived. Thanks, Jeremy, to uh, who has no Twitter and won't read this. So here it is. You're just gonna click on this, and I will also link to this in the description right here. This page. We're gonna click on that. It's gonna download. It's going to be a zip file. We need to take that zip and we need to extract it. So show in folder, and then right click on it and choose extract to. It's gonna create a new folder. This is 7-Zip, it's an awesome program, it's open source, it's free, it works great. And so now we have the root and the readme. So the readme says fastboot OEM unlock. Let's get this up here, down here. We already did the fastboot unlock, so that's done. Uh, boot the root image, so we're going to copy this. Let's move this up here so we can see all this. Alright, so copy this right here. And then we're going to paste it and hit enter. Uh, okay. Wait a minute. All right. I got to take this. Sorry. And cut it. Control X. And go to our platform tools. And paste that. And hit continue. Okay. So now we're going to do that again. <laughs> let's go to our... Let's paste this once again. Hit enter. Now it's actually working because I'm in my fast boot folder. And now our... Nexus player is rebooting, so you're going to wait for that to come up here in just a second. Alright, the little unlock icon there, because we unlocked it when we, the day we got the device. I moved, uh, so I, I still have tons of stuff in boxes, everything's everywhere. I My computer messed up, and I sent it off to repair, and I got it back a few days ago. So I've, I've been, you know, I've been uh, kind of handicapped lately in the uh, video department, so... I just got uh, my computer back. I just got my editing software installed. I just got everything installed. So we should be good to go. I'm very excited to be doing these tutorials again. I hope this tutorial works out. It's been a long time since I've done a tutorial like this. So, okay, it loaded up here. Let's go to the apps that we have installed. All right, we're done with the computer at this time. We can go ahead and quit that. Okay, so if we go to the apps and then our side load launcher here, uh, also it's right here. So actually, let's just click on that. And then I'm already following him on Google Plus and Twitter. So I highly recommend you do that to stay up to date on his latest root methods and etc. Also, if SuperSU updates, always open the app up. If you see the SuperSU updated, always open the app up and hit continue. And then always hit normal. This will take a minute or two. Don't sweat it. I have a ton of Android devices, and some of them, this takes longer than others. Usually, if I have custom recovery installed, I'll just go ahead and download the latest Super Issue Zip, flash it in recovery, and be done with it. But uh, So now it says reboot. I highly, highly recommend rebooting. In fact, uh, we're going to do that. We're going to reboot in just a second. Let's go to settings here, and then upgrade to pro. I don't know if it will... Oh, nice. Install. And continue this is a paid app I paid for it a long time ago so that's why it's not showing me a price and we're gonna go to settings also I recommend unchecking reauthentication that's just gonna get on your nerves and Titania backups gonna ask you to uncheck this mount frames thing right there so we're good there to reboot this thing from our computer uh, you're gonna go ahead and go to your platform tools on your computer again and you're gonna right click open command window here ADB reboot and it's going to force the Nexus player to reboot okay while that's starting up also I've downloaded this uh, Joey Krim root check app we're gonna go ahead and sideload that to see like if everything's working correctly so again open command window here we're gonna do ADB install com and then tab to autocomplete that and now it's installing this application to our Nexus player all right done with the computer once again we're going to go ahead and go to our apps side load launcher and we should see a new one called root checker right here and this is basically going to let us check and see if we have root all right uh okay and 
Oh, we need to hook up our mouse. Okay, so we have our mouse. We're gonna click verify root. And it's going to say, yes, grant. We see grant. That means we have root access. Congratulations, this device has root access. Current device, Nexus Player. Android version, 5.0. Upgrade to Pro. Let's see if we have this in the Play Store here. Always. Yes, it's not supported at this time. Again, I'm sorry about the delay. Things were kind of out of my hands. But now that my computer's back, brand new fan, shouldn't die on me and overheat. I got Google Fiber. If you watch my second channel, youtube.com slash www.josh.du, I can upload a video that's over a gig in one minute. Actually, less than a minute. I can upload very, very fast now. So you should see more videos very soon. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'd greatly appreciate it. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you want to stay up to date with me, learn what videos are coming out next, if you want to play some video games over Xbox Live or PSN, my gamer tag and PlayStation name are in my Twitter bio. Everything is in the description. This is what we're Josh do, and I'm out.